Andy Katz here with NCAA.com in March Madness with a look at the top 10 of the week, my Katz ranks, and for this week, looking at the top 10 teams that can win the national championship. This was very difficult. Tom Izzo, Michigan State, and I were talking about it, and he said, look, there could be 20, 25 teams that win it. I had to get down to 10. There were two I eliminated that I know I'm going to hear about, Auburn and Louisville. I think both of them still could win the national championship because I think that list could be upwards of a dozen, 15, 20 teams. The Auburn wins basically all in the last possession. Uh, a lot of those lately uh, scared me a little bit. Shows they can certainly close, definitely at home, but I had to eliminate someone. Louisville lost to Georgia Tech, kind of gave me some pause. I know I'm going to hear about this, but here we go. Number 10, San Diego State. Aztecs through mid-February undefeated. One of the top 10 defensive teams in the country. Great offensive and defensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm. Uh, Malachi Flynn, uh, transfer from Washington State on the perimeter. Matt Mitchell, big-time double-double type guy. Uh, the Aztecs are soaring right now and look like a team that not only could be a one seed, but certainly could get to Atlanta if they get in the right matchups. At number nine, Seton Hall. Miles Powell. One of the better closers in the country. Certainly could be the national player of the year. You got Romero Gill inside. Um, their home loss to Creighton causes a little pause. Creighton's very good, by the way, offensively. But Seton Hall certainly has all the pieces where they could make a run to the national championship. At number eight, I could have certainly moved up Kentucky. I probably will hear about this one. But I got Kentucky there. Manuel Quickly, Ashton Hagens, combine that with Nick Richards, who could be SEC player of the year. He said an outstanding season. They have to be on this list. Maybe I could have gone higher. At number seven, Maryland. I wouldn't have had them on the list about a month ago. But Jalen Smith has started to take over games, certainly on the road. They've solved those issues. Anthony Cowan still is a big shot maker. This Maryland team playing with a little bit of an edge after the way they lost LSU last season in the NCAA tournament. At number six, Dayton. Obi Toppin could be National Player of the Year. They defend. They got good guard play. Uh, you know, basically, their losses through mid-February were in overtime to Kansas and Maui at the buzzer to Colorado in Chicago. They have to be a factor. They're going to be at least a two-seed. At number five, Duke. Okay, I've got Duke here because Vernon Carey could be National Player of the Year. Trey Jones is playing his best basketball. They defend so well. Now, you could push back on me and say Duke played with fire. They should have lost to North Carolina. They were in trouble against BC, but Duke has the intangibles here. Their veteran players are all in, coming off the bench, experience. I like them as a team that could go there and win it. And number four, I know I'm going to hear about this one. I got Michigan State. I know they've not played like a national championship contender for most of the season. They've had moments, the win at Seton Hall, the way in which they held off Illinois on the road in Champaign. But when we get to March, Cassius Winston, he'll blossom. Xavier Tillman has been an all-Big Ten performer. Rocket Watts is starting to play much better. And they got Tom Izzo. So I got them in the top four. Baylor, they could end up being the number one overall seed. Not just zone anymore, a lot of man. Playing it very well. Jared Butler could be, you know, if he's not the Big 12 player of the year, he's going to be certainly first team. And Scott Drew has gone deep before. Been in Elite Eights. Uh, he's got a great shot to win the national championship. At number two, Gonzaga. The Zags, Phil Petrusev. Killing Tilly healthy, hopefully. Corey Kispert. Drew Timmy. The perimeter. Joel Ayayi is playing very well. The transfer guards. Gilder and Wooldridge. This team scores better than any team in the country. And they're defending really well right now, at least in the WCC. We'll see if that continues. They have to be considered one of the favorites to win the national championship. And right now, even though they're not in first place alone because of Baylor, because they lost to Baylor, I think it's Kansas. Kansas defensively right now is playing its best basketball on that side of the court that we've seen in years under Bill Self. The way they beat West Virginia in Morgantown, incredibly significant. Yudoka Azubuke, very hard to move out of there. Marcus Garrett, great defender. Devin Dotson. I mean, this team has all the intangibles. I say they go into the NCAA tournament, regardless of where they are on that one line, and I assume they will be, as the favorite to win the national championship.